Hi everybody, I'm going to be talking to you about the new item of the week, but instead of picking one item, I'm going to talk to you about signage. We have a lot of people looking to decorate in their homes nowadays with signs that have different sayings or different shapes and that such on it, rather than having oil paintings or the old photographs and such that used to be the popular way to decorate. So with that, I'm going to take you into the realm of signage. The first one I'm going to show you this one right here says you and me happily ever after the end. And what this does is it allows you to have somebody who might be a book reader. Um, book readers, they never get enough credit. When you're stuck in a book and you're in that realm of fantasy, it really is, it's a total realm that you wanna go to. It's your escape. Um, picking this could be great for a friend, even for yourself. It can be a shelf sitter or you can hang this on a wall. Next, we have some of the Christian signage. Uh, Christian signage is something that's been asked for as well as having stuff that has shapes on it and stars and hearts are the traditional, I would say, shapes that people like to decorate with in their homes. So with this, this one says, Lord, let, their, let them see you and me. So with that, you know that you have something you can decorate with or you can actually gift somebody with this. This is a beautiful sign. For those country lovers, you can't get enough cow. <laughs> I used to have a Holstein cow fetish where I had cows everywhere until my dad came over one day and said he felt like he was walking into a pasture. So needless to say, I did get rid of some of my cow stuff. <laughs> With this one right here, it says better together. Anybody that has any cows or seen cows in a pasture, you'll always notice they're herded together. That's because they stick together. So you cannot say this any easier. It's a great sign. Plus you have them all looking at you with those cute faces. Next, I'm gonna take you over to the option of a chalkboard. I know it's not a real sign, but what this chalkboard offers is a new saying every time you write it. That's right, every time you write it. <laughs> this is a cute little uh, country chalkboard. It's got the star shapes and some greenery and stuff on there. And it's got the nice checkered top on it where you can hang this. And you could again, put whatever saying you want on there, whether it's for home, a business, if you're a school teacher, anything. You can put whatever you'd like on here. But it's the perfect sign for any occasion. We have some smaller signs. This one here says love. And I brought in a few of these because they look like little trays. That's exactly how you can utilize this. This can be a tray in which you can carry anything you'd like on there, make it really subtle, or if you want to display it as a sign, you have that option. So it does two things. You can also hang this if you don't want to set it on your shelf. And what better way to say love than with love? Let's see, one more over here we have letter cutouts. Wooden cutouts as well as the metal galvanized signs are very popular. This one is the Farm Sweet Farm. So it gives you the idea that you can either set this up against something. If you have a scenery area, you can hang it on a wall. You can put this in a kitchen. You can put it in a windowsill. It's a simple sign that says a lot. Adds a little bit of your black and white decor if you like the farmhouse look. Farm Sweet Farm. This is our last signage on this end that I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna take you over to our hutch. It's the simple letters of love. If you happen to have an area where you do display, let's say your wedding photograph, or you have a display of your children as they're growing up, this is great signage. It does come with the hooks on the back so that you can hang this on the wall. Or if you wanted to display this with some raffia or hanging this inside of a wreath, there's all kinds of options you can use with this one. Love. Now I'm gonna take you over and show you what else we got over in our hutch. All right, next we have gift ideas. If you have someone who's getting ready to get married, happen to have an anniversary, or you're just wanting to simply gift somebody with something or for yourself, we have signage that offers the idea of a photograph as well. This first one here is, this is us, our life, our story, our home. So you could put a beautiful family photo in there and switch it up every time you get it. Um, this is a wonderful, simple, uh, country-looking wood frame, but what it offers you is the opportunity of having signage as well as displaying your photograph. If you want something that's outside of family, but something, let's say you've just got married and you don't have children yet, I have the next one for you. You and me. You can't say it any easier than that. 
you and me this allows you your photograph it allows you your signage it allows you your placement on the wall or you can set this on a shelf or over a fireplace it gives you the opportunity again of signage as well as photograph next we have our hutch inside our hutch we have a few pieces of signage the first one i want to show you here this is great for blended families a lot of americans they run into the idea of divorce being almost a common thing now it's a sad thing to say but it's true we have a lot of families that have been blended together and made whole in the process this signage right here gives you a positive outlook towards it you have this is us blended and blessed i know many families that are so happy even though they're blended families they're so happy and what better way to celebrate it than a beautiful sign like this next to this we also have a nice cutting board look if you like a chopping board that's hung that gives you the idea of either cowboy or gives you an idea of country this right here will give you either one so you have your metal cow on here that it is sitting away from the wood as well as your signage on here and you have what is this one south wind farm fresh produce if you know somebody who owns cattle and they love to cut them and sell them for beef <laughs> and i say it kind of blunt like that you can't ever get better beef than a side of beef that it comes straight from the people who actually raise the cows. It's wonderful to buy your side of beef that way. But this right here adds a little bit of a nice sign way of displaying decor in the process of having a Western kitchen. Next, we have another love sign. This one has meshing in it. I apologize for all the noise. That part I didn't plan for. <laughs> this is a metal sign on chicken wire, okay? And this one says, love lives here. Um, this is something that is beautiful when it's backsided if you have a painted color on your wall, um, because obviously it makes those silver letters just pop. If I put my hand behind there, you can see them much better. Um, but having anything behind that is also gonna give it a wall texture because of the chicken wire. And because of the sizing, you can actually fill a pretty big space with this without having to put too much beside it. Um, this makes a great shelf sitter as well as a wall hanger. Now, down below, we have some more simple signage. This one here is actually a tile. I didn't know it was a tile until I got it, actually. When I first ordered this piece, I just loved it because it was a simple, clean line. And anyone who de decorates in the realm of country understands that we can actually clutter over a period of time because we get so many cute pieces in the same area. So this kind of gives you a breathing space. So if you like to decorate with a lot of pieces, no worry with this piece. Love never fails. And it does have a metal hanger on the back because of the weight of this tile, but it can be a shelf sitter or a wall hanger. This signage here is another favorite of mine, which is blessed. I don't know any person that can't say that they haven't been blessed, at least in something in their life. Um, for us, it's daily. We are blessed daily to have our store because of you. And we're here to be work with your com our community and to make it work. And in the process, blessings carry us through all the time. Um, this sign right here just reminds me on a daily basis. There are going to be stuff that comes down that kind of puts you in a bad mood, but there's always something to be grateful for because we're blessed. So this is a beautiful sign. Again, shelf sitter or wall hanger. All right, and we have one last sign. Again, do all things with love. I think nowadays especially, it's kind of hard to remind ourselves after going through COVID and all the restrictions. Uh, it's been about a year. We all feel like we've been grounded for a year. Um, <laughs> through this period of pandemic, so many people have gone through the hardships of being sick as well as losing loved ones. And in this, it kind of reminds you in the process that love never fails us. We're in a situation where we have daily letdowns, but we don't have to ever worry about love. Love is continuous and it's always there for us. So with this, love, you can do all things with love. Love is always the biggest thing there. So hence the word love being the biggest part of this signage. Again, it makes a beautiful shelf sitter or a wall hanger. Now I'm gonna take you over to our boutique side and show you some of the items we have over there. So when we enter our home, the first thing we do is we automatically look around 
to check out what the feel is of the home, right? Well, it can start on your front porch or right in your entryway of your house, however you prefer. We have entryway signs. This one here has a very nice country feel with the greenery as the O here for welcome. And what's nice about this piece is it can either be a wall hanger if you wanna hang this in your entry, or it can actually be a stand where you set it on your front porch. So you have the option, guys. You're not told what to do. You get to place it where you want it. Another one is going to be for an Easter theme. And because black and white is such a popular theme, I went with black and white. Again, Easter is a big holiday for us, but we brought in our happy Easter sign, has a nice little bunny down here. And again, it has a wall hanger or it has the stand, so you can either set this outside or inside. We do offer one more for our 4th of July, or if you prefer Americana, that's here in our window and it says welcome. Again, it's gonna be for either inside or outside. Next, we have some more signage that are grateful, thankful, and blessed. We have a lot of our common signs that have live, laugh, love. Um, this is another one that's very common as far as a theme for a house. So this right here could go for anybody's decor. You can make this look country, rustic, vintage. You can even go Western with it, pretty much anything. One of my favorites, this one here, our porch. Sit, relax, gossip. All right, girls, we know. <laughs> we know better than many. This is a thing. This isn't just a sign, but it sure is nice to have a cute sign that says it. Um, with this piece, it does offer two wall hangers on the back on each corner. So again, you can display this if you wanna hang it from some jute rope, add some raffia, whatever little flare you would like to put to it, or you can plain hang it on a wall. Um, this piece will go great with anybody. Now with the Americana flair, we have in some wonderful pieces. This is America, not too big, but what's nice about this is you can decorate around this piece as well. Uh, being that it's a horizontal sign, it can fit above doors. Um, it's great for shelf setting. Um, so regardless of where you would have an idea for this piece, it would go so cute. Um, it's got nice texturing behind the star and it's got nice raffia attached to it as well. So again, you can hang this piece or it can be a shelf sitter. And if you'd like to display a vertical one, we also offer that. There's no wording on this one, but you can slate this anywhere you would like it. Again, shelf or wall. We also have, for those small little nook spaces, the little shelf sitter signs that you can set out that don't take up a lot of room. Um, what's great about these is you can place these anywhere you want. They even go great in bathrooms because you know, you're kind of limited to your space in there. But every room when you're a woman likes to have a little decor and pieces in there. This is a great way of adding it. So again, some more Americana feel. Next, let's head over to our back wall. All right, last but not least, we have our corner in our boutique. <laughs> with this we offer again some more wall art that you can actually place a photograph inside of it this one says these are a few these are a few of my favorite things you can put your children in there you could put your favorite vacation spot you can put an anniversary picture you can put vacation pictures anything that's meant something to you that's going to give you the idea of remembering that favorite spot so these are a few of my favorite things it makes you think of the song of mary poppins huh these are a few of my favorite things. I won't sing for you, but yeah. <laughs> Next, we have laundry room humor. On here, the laundry room lettering on here is gonna be very antique-ish vintage feel. And it looks like a original piece of wood. I'm trying to pull this out where I don't knock everything down. There we go. <laughs> and it has a little bit of the mint coloring in there. And what that does is it gives you a little bit more depth perception without making you have to decorate with that green color. Um, so with this, you have laundry, which this is a true saying, the never ending cycle. It never ends. And the more kids you have, the more laundry, the more laundry you have, the more slave work. I consider it slave work. I'm not a fan of laundry. <laughs> All right. Signage for the walls. It's about that time again, girls. The spring flowers have already started. My tree is already blooming green leaves. 
So we have our idea of our gardening coming out. This is great for hanging any type of you like dried flowers like lavender. If you wanted to hang some raffia pieces on here, any type of decor pieces you can hang off of here. Um, potpourri pieces like the hearts, stars and all that. You can hang just about anything you wanted off this. But it's a, it's a gardening spade, so it gives you the feel of flowers and gardens, which hey, everybody likes those spring colors. So this right here can be anything you want it to be. Above that, the signage that I placed with it is fresh flowers. Again, it's the palette wood feel. It's still rustic and vintage. What's great about this is even when it does get it's scratched, it just looks like a part of the art. It's not something that looks like it's damaged. So again, shelf sitter, wall hanger. Another one we have over here is pretty point blank farmhouse we have a lot of people that love to decorate with farmhouse it gives you that comfy cozy feel it also offers you the vibe of feeling like you can plop down into a couch and it just kind of envelops you it's very relaxing and calming um, having the farmhouse feel is always about the galvanized look hence the galvanized metal because it's a texturing add addition to your decor. When you put something on the wall that's very flat, it just kind of has a tendency to blend in with it. When you hang something that has texture, it does everything for you. It creates more light, more depth, more texture, more feel. It makes the sign look three-dimensional. It does all these things for you when you look at it. So it's very pleasing to the eye. So this right here is the farmhouse sign. We have one left of these. Lastly, on this corner, we have a family sign. And y'all, if you know a boutique, you know it's pretty crammed in there. So give me just a second to get this one out. All right. This one is super special. I love this. What I love about this one is it's a metal sign piece. <sighs> but it also has the wooden beads that you can spread out on this jute rope. So you can make it all decor. Um, it's got the family written in the original metal and then it's painted around it so it gives you a nice depth fill and then it has the finishing rope since you have these nice wooden beads on the rope to accent it so this really looks like a finishing piece I love this piece again this can be a shelf sitter if you want to shelf sit this one or you can actually utilize this on your wall next let's head over to the corner all right, when we tend to think about stuff for our wall and signage and that such, we don't always think animals, but guess what? We offer animals because we know a lot of people love to decorate with farm animals. So with that, we have our little pig here. And I call him Stinky. He is such a cutie. Uh, we have these in multiple sizes. We have the large and we also offer the small. It is a wood piece and it has the nice little rusted star on there has your wonderful jute rope on a hanger. So if you wanna hang this piece, you can. If you prefer to have it sitting on a shelf, you have that option as well. He's so cute. All right, beneath you, we have a God bless you. You know, normally when we hear that, we think somebody sneezed, but nowadays it means a lot of things and we can't get enough blessing. So. With this sign, if you know somebody who's going through a hard time, somebody who's been through something that's been very trial and error in their life, this is a great way of just saying, God's got you, everything's gonna be okay. Um, praying your blessings to somebody is never a waste. By handing this to somebody, it would really mean a lot. So this can be something that you could utilize on your shelf or again, hanging on your wall. All right, our last wall that we have over here. All right, lastly, we have a nice country fill. So if you're really into doing country in your kitchen or in your living room, you're gonna love this piece. It's a tractor. This is a tractor clock. It's a super cute piece. It's all metal. You have your nice country letter or numbered clock inside of here. The nice thing about this is that the country clock is in large letters. So again, it can be placed anywhere and it's still gonna be easier to view. So if you like tractors, super cute piece. When I see this on, I think of my coffee area for my house. This one right here is the Old Milk and Creamery. 
So fresh dairy since 1889. Daily delivery service, hand churned butter. I do not stick butter in my coffee, but I do know that there are people that do. And it's a slide little trick that they put in there uh, that's supposed to help cut back on the acid levels in your coffee. Now, I do not put butter in mine, but I can say, for those that do, the sign is for you too. <laughs> it still makes me think of coffee, because it's cream. Who doesn't put cream in their coffee? Maybe I shouldn't say that, because I know there are people that enjoy straight up, nothing in it. But I like mine, um, how they say, it's leaded, I think is what they say, where you put your cream and everything in there. Yeah, that's me. But this is a super cute sign. It is metal. It's wonderful because it's got the hanging pieces on the back and it's not too big. So it's nice for those small spaces if you happen to have a little coffee area. Last but not least, housework won't kill you. But why take the chance? Save the best for last, guys. I can honestly say there are days when I say no to housework. There's far and few in between for those who know me because I do have an issue about cleaning. But when I don't clean and I take that day for me, I love it. I try to make the maximized ways out of it of, you know, Netflix binging and that such. But why not have a sign that just warns you ahead of time? So when your husband comes home and you're like, hey, read the sign. <laughs> well guys, I sure hope that you enjoyed seeing some of the signage pieces that we have in here. We do offer a animal corner that offers a few more signs for dogs and cat lovers, um, but those are smaller signs. So I'm gonna let you come view those. Um, as far as our wall signage, very soon we're gonna have an actual wall that displays all of our pieces. So if you're looking particularly for signs, it'll be very easy to find instead of having to go through each of our shelves like we have now. So just keep in mind that is coming and we will be adding more signs. We would love to hear your feedback. If there's a particular type of sign you're looking for, we will research and try to find that for you. Until then, if you have not yet, please like, subscribe, and follow us. We enjoy having people follow. Uh, we would love to have your feedback. So again, if there's something in the boutique you're looking for, just leave a message. We will do our best to find that item for you. Until then, we'll see you soon.